Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and today we'll talk about the gate branching. So first of all, let's uh, take the let's check the points that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will learn what is a gate branching and why we have to use it, and after that, we will make an example uh, of how we can create the branching and. Uh, we will create a branching from localhost from the get server also all right and in at the last of this video i will ask you a uh, interview question you should have to attempt this interview question if you want in the comment box all right and the answer of this interview question uh, i will just already give you in the video all right before just asking the question so now let's uh, first of all understand the what is the git branching so basically branching is just you choose a different route uh, to just uh, so that you can just want to add some more code or to just want to update the repository and whenever you just find that everything is fine and uh, the code which you just update or just write is working fine then you will merge it again in the same branch all right so now let's see why we need the git branching the question is that so there is only not a single one reason there is a multiple reasons first reason that i want to just uh, want to tell you that let's say five developers are working on your project and if they all guys are working on the same branch then maybe one guy just write something uh, uh fatal error code and uh, whenever this another guy just want to uh, try the same code then he will get the error all right so he cannot uh, know the code he don't know the code then how he can handle so that according to the every module according to the every feature uh, we just create a different branch in the software companies when we just develop the software the second reason is uh, let's say your website is just working with your master branch all right so master branch is the branch which is uh, uh, have the cleanest code and finest code they with the bug free code all right and master branch is already uh, by default branch when you just create the repository also all right so uh, if the every uh, developer is working with the master branch or only in the one branch maybe uh, they just push the or upload the error code then your website your application can be crashed anytime can be stopped anytime so that we just uh, 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 do the development work in the development branch then we will test it and after that we will merge in the master branch so that everything should be fine the no error should be in the code all right this is the second reason and a third one reason is let's say you are working on a development branch and tester want to test your code all right then if you are just regularly pushed your uh, every developer pushing the code in the development branch then how tester can test that because every uh, half hour within the every uh, next one hour the developer will push the code and uh, tester will get the new code maybe he just uh, confused with the code and he 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 is not able to find the bugs again and again all right so there is a multiple reasons to that why we have to use the git branching so now let's understand it with the example that how we can create so in the last video we just uh, uh, push and pull with the one repository with the u tutorial and which is present here so let's uh, just i'm opening my branch which is we just set up uh, repository which is we just set up in the last video if you did not watch this then you must have to watch this also I'm recommending you to watch it right so we just created this right so now let's say I just want to create a branch from the server then how you can create so here I can just write here development let's say just write the dev right and whenever you just create it then you will find that there is a two branch one is a dev and another is the master that how you can get it on the local for that you just have to write git fetch minus minus all and it will just take a moment and you will see that you will got the new branch here now you can see that so if you just want to check out then you can just check out dev git check out dev here 
and just check the branch now you will see that you are on the dev branch so let's make some changes inside the code so i am just going to write something here like dev file and whenever let's uh, just add this file and push it on the server git branch git status will show you the change git add will add git commit will make a milestone here dev commit and you can just use the git push here it will ask for your credentials and just give the credential to him and now let's just simply use here password and now you will see your code is on the server so now for now without refresh you will see that there is a two branch but in the development branch only two files here whenever i will refresh it then now you will see there isn't three file all right that this is the way that how we can create the file from here so let's say you just want to create the file from here for that you can just write uh, git checkout minus b and branch name so let's say i just want to create a branch name with the testing and let's check the branch with the and how now you will get the here right so i am now once again i am just going to add one more command one more file with like testing and i can just follow the same thing git add git commit minus m testing b git push and it will just again ask for the uh, credentials but this branch is not on your git server because we created it with the local host then you just have to add this command all right so just copy it and just paste it here okay so yes now it will ask for the username again okay so uh, let me try once again i think i just put something wrong password username once again and now just password and now you will see that you got here three branches here two branches and now you have the three branches let's try check on the testing branch now in the testing branch you have the four files all right so in the next video we will see the some more interesting facts and stuff about the git and uh, one another video we will see that how we can merge these branches dev and testing inside our master branch also so thanks for watching this video if you have any kind of suggestion compliment any argument any concern you can ask me in the comment box suggestion will always be on the uh, suggestion will always be accepted thanks for watching this video